That's the most I've ever seen a K2 go off. Well, water. There's a well here. <gasps> oh, look. Ow. What the heck? Can you light up the ball next to the red light? Oh, this. Oh my God. The, okay, Mary was two years old when she fell. Died. And died. I can't see you to come up. Keepers, thank you so much for tuning into Amy's Crypt. Tonight we are back at the ruins of the Newman's Nursery up at Anstey Hills. The place is said to be quite haunted. Now we have already filmed a part one episode, so if you haven't seen that yet, go and check it out because we uncovered a little clue, a lead that we're going to follow tonight. It's very, very exciting, so stay tuned. Tonight we return to the haunted ruins of Anstey Hill, a former nursery dating back to the mid-1800s. This is a place where we have picked up some strange activity in the past and where many claim the spirits of children remain. If you haven't already done so, go and watch the previous episodes we have filmed at this ruin, linked in the description below. But now we continue our paranormal investigation of the old nursery. All right, Crypt Keepers, we... Did that light just move on its own? Yeah, you might want to fix that. <laughs> we... He, he, I don't know Might if it's be paranormal, paranormal but or probably I didn't set it Jared's up right. dodgy craftsmanship to support the light. <laughs> we are back at Anstey Hill Ruin, the old Newman's nursery ruin. This is a part, part two, so please watch part one if you haven't uh, already. Now, we have an exciting kind of update. Yes, some of the words we got last time in part one at the time we didn't realize were relevant but after we ended the episode we did a little bit of research and we found some relevance yeah so the ghost tube app in one of uh the areas where i thought that i had seen like a shadow figure in the past still not convinced it wasn't just like my eyes playing tricks but we're running ghost tube over there and some of the responses we had richard and knife come through and I mean, that seems like it could be pretty random, but then I was like, Jared, can you just Google like Newman's Nursery, Richard, Anstey Hill and see if anything comes up, so. And something did come up. We're currently in a recreation park right now. There's multiple mm -hmm. ruins in this park. So if you read the article further, it talks about a cottage called Ellis Cottage. And this cottage was built in 1854, so around the time that this nursery was operational. It's within walking distance from the nursery, so they would have been operating together at the same time. It was a cottage built by a landover called John, but he later sold it to a butcher called Richard Ellis. So we had the word Richard come up and the word knife. He was a butcher. <laughs> so that, I'm pretty, like, I mean, that's pretty cool. I mean, I know he wasn't necessarily tied to this nursery, mm. but who knows, maybe he delivered meat to the Newmans. Maybe they were friends. Maybe he spent a lot of time here. It's yeah. only a walking distance away. Or maybe they were just talking about him. Like maybe. Like that Richard. <laughs> like gossip, like neighbourhood gossip or yeah. something. Yeah. This um, cottage we can actually go to and we probably will check out towards the end of this episode. It's not known to be haunted or anything like that, but I mean, we should at least swing by yeah. just because we got that response and have a look-see. Yeah. I do want to stay here and focus on finishing this investigation though. I've also been holding Nancy, one of my haunted dolls a lot of you guys will recognise. I brought her along because she's such a nice, lovely doll and there's said to be kids that haunt here. Many people have claimed to see ghost children playing. We also had Mary, the two-year-old, uh, who passed away in a really horrific fashion here. So yeah, I thought maybe Nancy will like it here. Maybe the children will like Nancy. Like, we could probably try to get some activity with with this <laughs> right and last time we were here you brought a, a like a teddy bear right and like mm -hmm. the k2 meter was going off but if there are any children here but if there are any children here i think we will go to the same area the k2 went off because we also bought spirit my rocking horse in past episodes yep and we never really got anything with spirit did we no. so i reckon we'll go to the area we had the teddy with with nancy and we'll set up to do some experiments let's go let's do it Okay. Oh, I just had like a real strong breeze come through here. Oh really? Yeah. Cool. Oh, 
Got all goosebumps, I'm freezing. <laughs> I mean, it is cold tonight, but. All right, so Crypt Keepers, we are in the old kitchen. So the fireplace is like behind me. Jared and I've got Nancy set up. Nancy's sitting there with a cat ball and the K2 meter, which me measures electromagnetic uh, energy. Jared has a spirit box and noise cancelling headphones. So he, we're gonna try and do an Estes uh, method spirit box. Basically, he puts that on and all, all he can hear is a spirit box. I'll ask questions. He won't be able to hear my questions. I won't be able to hear the answers coming through the spirit box. So it removes some bias. I also have GhostTube SLS running in the room that's right next door to us. I put a REM pod and a cat ball in there. So we're monitoring that room and maybe, you know, the app, which you can download for free. Links are below. <laughs> maybe it can map some figures. This rock is really uncomfortable. Uh, I'm well, on. let's get started then, shall uh, we? I'm yeah. gonna go lights off, so you just you can put them on and I'll. My name is Amy, and this is uh, Jared. I'm also here tonight with Nancy, who is a doll that I bought for you, and we would love for anyone who's here to come and say hello. So if you go towards Jared, uh, maybe you can tell him hello or your name. Just let him know that you're here. Or if you'd like to play with Nancy, that's fine as well. We'll just go towards her. There's a little green light in front of her. If you go towards that, that just shows us that you're here and that you want to play. We won't hurt you. We, we're very friendly. In the next room, if you can hear me, I've also put a red light on the, the windowsill. If you go towards that, it'll light up flashy lights and colours. There's also a ball there if you touch that and you move that. It'll also light up flashing colours. That's very pretty. Are we joined by somebody tonight? Is there somebody around? Maybe Richard is here. Or maybe one of the Newmans. I know you had a lot of children. It's hot. Did you say it's hot? This is the, the kitchen, is that correct? If there is, is that you? This is Amy. So again, my name is Amy and I'm here with Jared. The doll that I've brought with me today is Nancy. Oh my God. Right, so the koalas. Uh, grunting and s making that horrible noise. Oh my god. I'm not getting anything. Do you want me to change like a frequency or something? Or You can change bands. I'm getting a lot of koala activity. <laughs> oh really? <laughs> and it's freaking me out. Like that right behind me. Just want to say that I know that that may have sounded ridiculous because of the story of the girl, but that's just what I heard. What did you hear? Hot. I said it's hot or something like that. Oh. That's what I heard. Well, so, also it's a kitchen, so. Yeah, I know, but some people might think, oh, how convenient he says it's hot when, you know yeah. what I mean? But that, that's what I heard. Yeah. Anyway, all right, I'm going to change. What um, you can do is say what you hear. Yeah, I know, but sometimes it's like. Alright, so we're trying something new. Maybe this makes it easier for you to talk to us. So if you can go to what is Jared. Comes to eh. I'm sorry, I didn't catch what that was. Hello. Please. I hope um, this has made it easier for you to talk with us. If that's the case, can you tell me your favourite colour? A few. 
Two. Okay, Mary was two years old when she fell. Died. And died in a pot of water. So who is here with me? Can you please tell me? Okay. Forward or four. The K2 just went off Hello. as well. This is cool because we're getting a lot more responses and then the K2 goes off. I haven't seen it go off at all. Do you like this doll here? I tried. Do you want to try and play with her? Started. Get out. Yeah. 50. Why do you want us to get out? Because it's a kitchen? Is this somewhere where we should not be playing? Hey, look. Were you trying to play a game with us earlier? Yeah. Oh, cool. Do you have a game that you'd like to play? A favourite game, maybe? It's a memory. What game do you remember playing? I bought my doll for you God. to play with. Stepped in it. She falls. Okay, that's a bit eerie to look here. It was a little rough. I bet it was a bit of a rough time. How many children are still here? Out of it. Somebody keeps saying things that are like telling off kids. Can you tell me how many people are in this room? Excuse me. Oh, I'm sorry. Do you not like that language? That was a bit weird. So I heard something. It must be an animal. It just sounded like somebody coughing, though. Big step. Okay, can you tell me who used to live here? Didn't realize. Wait. Steve. You trying to tell me your name? Who is it that I'm talking Sanctuary. to? Sanctuary. Are you an adult or a child? What? Well, 101 or 1? Is that your age? Well, water. Very old. Okay, there is a well here. Can you tell me about the well? Can't hear you. I'm sorry, can you tell me about the well? You'll find out. Okay, that makes me want to visit the well. <laughs> Didn't drink enough? Tragedy. What was the tragedy? It happened. What happened? Can you tell me? I believe there was another tragedy where someone fell off their horse or the horse and cart and passed away while they were coming up towards the nursery. Stee. Okay, that's not the first time he said Stee as if he's trying to say Steve or, or finish a word, you know what I mean? The coal. Who is it? I'm not sure. There's just so many noises going on behind me that it's creeping me out a little bit. 
Can you hear those Sorry. noises? Shiz 2. Or oh, 302. It was... I was here. Can you tell me what the numbers are? Maybe. I'd love to know 302, you just said. Salt. I can pass you the salt. Axe. Or I can pass you the axe. We are in a kitchen. Are you cooking? What recipe? Very often. Or do you come here very often? I've been... This is my... Maybe my fifth time up here. Cheers, thanks. Thank you, too. We know. And you know... I keep looking behind me because there's noise. I'm sorry, I should pay more attention to you. Boring. <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't want to be boring. Why don't you go touch the red light on the windowsill in the room next to us? Done. Done? I didn't hear it go off. If you go towards the red light, it should make a noise. It's really not. Are you trying to touch it? Thank you for trying. Maybe you can touch the ball. Can you light up the ball next to the red light? Oh, this. If you just move it, it'll light up. Sleep. You a bit tired past your bedtime? Where are you? The door. The door. Is the door behind me or in front of me? No. Go or no? Go. I'm not sure where the door is, guys. I can see it. See us. Yes. I just kind of want to show you around. I'm in pitch black though, so I can't really see what I'm doing. Someone big. What's what is she go? Year old. A year old. I'm old? Or you're a year old? I am probably pretty old to you. I can't see you. Possibly. Whore. What did she call me? <laughs> Why is he rocking? That's a bit creepy. Why is Jared rocking? Can you tell me that? What's going on with him? Jesus. Why are you rocking like that? Because I'm cold. Oh, okay. You were creeping me out. Like, I stopped looking at you for a while because I was like, where are you? And you said door. And so I was trying to like, it probably looks really bad. I was trying to swivel the camera around, but I couldn't see what I was doing. And then when I swiveled back to you, you were just like rocking on the spot. Uh, yeah, that would look creepy. No, I was just cold. Um, yeah. Uh, that oh, second... Oh, far out. 
Oh, my bum. I heard a lot of female voices. Yeah. Um... I don't know, it all seemed random to me. I, I do feel like that first time, the first session where I said it's hot, I just wanna say I know that there's a story about the girl in the pot of water, and it may have seemed like I planned it, but that's just what I heard. Everything else to me seemed random. That was the only thing I remember that was sort of like. Okay, well in that second lot, so as soon as you started, you spat out hell words and the K2 went off, and that was the only time it went off as well. Oh really? Yep. Um, some of the things that you were saying, like you, you said well and water. Uh, yeah, I do remember saying that. Which kind of made me feel like I want to go look at the well. Yep. Um, so that's a, kind of a lead to chase. One of the funny things as well was, it, it was just an animal noise, i got to say, but if I was getting a bit freaked out because of all the noises, and one of them sounded like a cough, like there was like a person coughing, right? And... Um, I said, like, oh, f like, I was scared, like, I s yeah. swore, and then you said, excuse me, or excuse you, or something. Oh, like really? That. Oh, yeah, I remember saying excuse yeah, me. Yeah, yeah, I was yeah. like, <gasps> oh, look. Wow, oh, I'm missing that. What the heck? Oh, oh, it's going in. Did that you just get that? That just lit up all the way to red, like, that so many up times. All the way to red, and like, look like that. So this wasn't going off at all, the whole time? No. It's gone off once. Did you just get it then? I think, yeah, I got a few spikes. I don't know if I... I didn't get the... It was things. like right up to red, full, going crazy for like five seconds. Man, that's annoying that we weren't filming it. <laughs> well, I got some of the spikes. Cool. So are you back? Do you like Nancy? Can you make a noise or light up more lights for me again, please? If you are here. And it's gone. It is like that though, like it's just like coming. Oh, you're back. Thank you so much. Are you able to make it go red again, please? If you like Nancy, can you light some more lights up for me, please? Just to show me that you like her. That's the most I've ever seen a K2 go off, honestly. I feel like yeah. I missed the really big spikes. Damn it, I should have been filming her. Alright, Jared and I are heading to the well. I'm going to take the REM pod. Oh, like a big bang. Wasn't an animal either. <laughs> um, anyway, let's head to the well. I feel like the Estes method kind of was asking us to do that. So let's go see what's up there. Alright guys, so we have just got to the well. I feel like the Estes method kind of wanted us to come here. Now I have, because we were getting stuff in that room, not just on the Estes method, but surrounding Nancy, like the K2 went off a number of times, especially when we stopped the Estes method, like there were huge spikes on the K2. So I've left a camera in there filming her she's still got the k2 uh cat ball and we also have a ghost tube just running with her while we we're gathering some of our stuff up to leave it, a few responses did come through ghost tube what year is it 2021 i don't know what else it's gonna say why it's in there alone with her or if we will get any more electromagnetic spikes around the doll so it's curious i feel like us leaving her alone in there is almost like if there are kids around and maybe they're a little bit shy they will feel more confident to play with her does that make sense right so anyway i wanted to come to the well i assume this is a well i think this might be old stable actually i'm not sure what this is 
but there's a well here and I really felt like during the Estes it was like go towards the well <laughs> So my name is Amy and I am here with Jared and we have been here a number of times. I'm I'm not sure if there is anybody here at all but if there is and you want to let us know that you're around I'm going to welcome you to come up. Well I'm going to welcome you to come up. I'm going to welcome you to come up. Have set that off? No. It was so weird. As soon as I pointed at it, it was it lit up. Yeah, you're you're too far away. Okay, if there is somebody here, if you come close to this um, red light, you can make it light up other other lights, other colours, and it makes that noise. If you come towards it, that shows us that you're here and that you want to talk. Earlier tonight, we we were talking to somebody, and they mentioned a well. That's why I've come here. Child. Can you give us any sign that you're here? Maybe you can move something, pick some up, something up, drop it, make a noise. Newman. Do you think it's weird that like as I went to point at that it went off? Yeah. Too bad it was only like a quick beep though. I know, but like that couldn't have been <laughs> No. I don't know, I just felt like static from my jacket or something, but I guess not. I don't think so. Now, if... If you are able to light up that red light, make it uh, make noise again, go towards the red light. If you do that for me, I will do something for you. Maybe there's something that you want... Uh, I could bring you. Maybe you like cigarettes. Did you bring some? I actually have some cigarettes, yeah. If you light that up now, I'll go get some. <gasps> Jesus. What the heck? Now I'll go get some. <gasps> now I'll go get some. <gasps> now I'll go get some. <gasps> oh, that scared the <laughs> out of me. Yeah. Damage. Whoever told us to come to the well on the Estes method was full of it. Well, I don't even know if they told us to come here. <laughs> it just said something like well and water. I can't remember exactly what it said after that, but I feel like it said something like about first. So I don't know, it just felt like it was just something to go on. Okay, I'm not, I actually, like, I don't feel anything around here. Um, I do reckon it was weird, really, really weird, though, when I pulled my hand out and I was like, go towards this light and light it up, and as soon as I pointed at it, it went off. Sometimes when I investigate, I say or I do things, and I swear, like, the response feels like it's just anticipating what I'm about to say, or, like, reading my mind and just doing it. You know what I mean? Mm. I don't know. 
How cold is it? Oh my god, it's freezing. <laughs> I um I really love coming up here to the Newman's nursery. I just love the ruins and I feel like every time that we've been, we've collected a little bit of evidence that is just like telling us yeah. a little bit more about the place. Yeah, it's like little breadcrumbs that we're following, you know? Yeah. And nothing bad has happened to me tonight. No, only good, good stuff. Um it's tonight has been super interesting, but I mean I do want to do that la one last thing where we visit the Ellis Cottage because the ghost tube responses that we got earlier of Richard and Knife and you know there was a a butcher named Richard just around the corner that I guess lived there right yeah. so we're gonna go for a drive that's not a place that's known to be haunted or that we're probably able to investigate I'm pretty sure like 90% sure that it exists behind a pub or like two pubs. Yeah, it's probably gonna be too noisy to investigate. Yeah, and it's like, what is it, Friday night? <laughs> yeah. Are we, so are we just gonna do another episode or are we just gonna go over there now and I, No, 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 I'm gonna, we're gonna go maybe drive around there. I think we can drive to it. And I just wanna show it to you guys. So we're gonna go get some, you know, at least some shots of it. I don't know if we'll be able to actually film anything there. So we'll just go have a look. Um, but I do just, I just wanna go there. I just wanna visit it just because we got that tonight. and. I don't know if it is, and I can't say that it's relevant, mm. but... Richard and Knife. And there was maybe. a Richard who was a butcher who lived around the corner from these guys. Yeah, and maybe we're just like grasping for something, but I reckon it's as exciting. And I reckon like, it's cool. Yeah, I think it's cool. So I think we're gonna pack up all our gear and get Ooh. out of here. Or... One other thing though. What's that? So the ghost of you, you guys would have seen it, but when we got yes. back, we actually reviewed the, um, the words that had come up Log. while we left it. And it had come up with um, Newman and Child and... Hang on, let me, let me see. Yeah. So you probably think, oh, right. But like Newman is something that we could add in to the dictionary. So it's not in the normal dictionary, but we do have a function where you can add in words that are relevant to your investigations. So yeah, for instance, you're investigating the Newman's nursery, so you can put Newman in there because it's not yeah. a word that's typically in our dictionary. Adding the words to the dictionary, it's purely there so you can add words so that spirits have the ability to select them if they're going to select them. Like, I mean, it doesn't make the word come up or anything like that like yeah. it's 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 still in there with the 800 other words that are in there so, so i still think cool. it's cool that it came it's up it's cool that it came up yeah. out of all of the was yeah. like 800 odd words and child and yeah just you know when you know the story of this place it's sort of interesting yeah cool all right well we're gonna pack up our stuff say goodbye to the spirits and bye spirits then we're gonna hike back down the hill <laughs> to the car and go for a drive to that other place yeah Right, let's Stay go. tuned. So just behind me is the Ellis Cottage and it is freaking cute. Like, I tell you what, it's really cool. Is Richard on here? Yeah. Oh, okay. So this here is Richard and we got the response Richard through. He was also a butcher and we got knife. So I can't tell you that this is like for sure, definitely related and we're talking to the spirit of Richard. But hey, it's pretty like coincidental. And this isn't all too far from the ruins up on Anstey Hill of the Newman's Nursery. Uh, so if anyone ever visits, like I've had a lot of my Crypt Keepers uh, message me or send me ghost tube sessions that they've done up at the ruins, really, really cool. Uh, so if anyone ever gets a chance, like you're in the area, maybe check this place out as well. Can you see inside at Yeah, all? a little bit. There's another window on the side. Oh, okay, yeah. Look, there's the fireplace and stuff in there. How cool is that? 
All right, guys, so tonight has been pretty interesting, and I hope that you guys have found interest in it as well. If you did enjoy it, please remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe. That really helps me out. If you want to do any more reading on Anstey Hill or any of the other haunted places I've visited from around the world, head to amyscrypt.com. You guys can also follow me at Amy's Crypt on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok, and I post bonus content on my Patreon and YouTube members that are linked below. But thank you so much for watching, Crypt Keepers. Until next time.